Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund, which Ms. Little Branch is dying to speak about. This is the same Warren article that we do every year. Am I correct in saying this? Yes. Most years. Well, that's, I have a comment after you. So. No, no, but that, is this the same uh, one that we yes, tend it is. to do yes. every year? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. That's all I want yeah. to know. Mr. Walberg. Well, first of all, and I'm proud to see this, and I, and I want everyone to know here, and Mr. Pluff was involved, this original article was created in 1998 as a result of the Route 1 improvements for our 20% share at that time, which amounted to 400,000. 600. Was it, it would end up being 600. six, but we built, we built the fund up. And to your point, uh, there was several years of stuff. I'm so glad that this is back. We need to continue to do this for improvement of streets in Hampton. And it's been in, in effect 20 years, but I, I, I'm very much in favor of this. This, is, this is, has worked out well. That's where the billion and a half came from to, to finish Route 1. Yeah, a million and a half they built up to, that's correct. Yeah. Anybody else? All right, I have a good Mr. Morrow. Um, we had talked before, which I thought was an important item, uh, the streets that are going to be repaired. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this, we could get this on it, but that's the one we should know. I'm making up a number here for the same mm -hmm. numbers. We have 25 streets we could do with this number. And we should have like, what's number one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, they all should, I would think, unless something disastrous happened, if pretend they don't, did 20 and the other five didn't get done, then those other five should go to the top, unless there was something serious they might go down. We, can we get, can we request yeah. some sort of this that the public can actually see what the streets are mm -hmm. on the ballot? Yeah, let me speak to that. Thank you. Used to be we would name the streets that we were going to Oh, I remember that. Right. That was the old days. Right. And a few years ago, a certain budget committee member, who shall remain nameless, suggested that was probably too rigid for management, uh, and that they have a list, a, a, a master list of streets they want to address. And it was based on a study done by UNH, I believe, in 2013, mm -hmm. I think it was. And I believe they're still using that. I don't know how up to date it is or whatever, but I think it makes sense to say, okay, let's see the list. Because we don't right now have visibility to that as far as I know. And so I think your point is, let's see the list and get assurance that you're going to go in that order that's on the list. Okay. Put it on the so we have some visibility as to what's going to be done. So I think that's a, a valid question, and I think we should uh, have management give us that answer, and then we'll be able to vote at the subsequent meeting when we get that answer, hopefully. Mr. LeBranch. I may be wrong. There was a, there was a Warren article, probably still is, that since I don't have them in front of me right now, that called for specifically to do Elaine Avenue. Is it Elaine Avenue? Street. Street. Elaine and Richards. Elaine, Elaine, Elaine Street along with Richard, right, because yeah. went. there was a Warren article, right? They didn't perhaps they it. didn't push it forward. There was, there was a Warren article. I remember them it talking was about it. It was proposed. Proposed, they but they didn't do it. So, right. they, so what I'm saying is that, in da you know, to answer David's thing, they did have a specific street with a specific amount. And they were going to dig it up, do the sewer and the street at the same time, like yeah. they just finished with Anne's Lane. So, and but this one, this one, the wording on this one is, is was left open because of what you've already said, and that's why it's presented the way it is, versus having a list of all the streets you know attached to it. I think, and it was actually me that suggested it. We don't need to have the streets named on the Warren article because it introduces a rigidity to management. If something occurs in, 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 uh, on a particular street that's disastrous, you can't use this money for that street because it was, the street was specified. Yeah. Uh, and, and one other thing has come up as well, where you, get, you, know, you can't get a good estimate on the streets that were specified, but you're getting a good estimate on other streets that weren't specified, you can't act again. So that's why I suggested if we just remove the streets and rely on a master sheet as a reference point, uh, but we have never actually called to see that sheet, and I think it's probably time to call and see that sheet, which is your point. <coughs> yeah. along, along with that is the aspect of what you talked about, that if something just, and I said, if something disastrous happens and you need to move something at the top, you had that wording in here, that whatever, how would that have it? Yeah, that, yeah. that would take precedent. If, they, if, if you get a sinkhole. Right. Right. right, so I assume that we're 
comfortable not voting tonight and looking for the answer to the master list. Is Thank all you. Fair? Okay. Next.